Do, 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 do. Going the wrong way again. Ah, oh, we knocked ourselves out of the tree. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to uh, Dakar Desert Rally. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing well. We're back to some more career mode today. Uh, go be jumping on two wheels again. Obviously, if you uh, missed episode three, then uh, go check it out. We're on to episode four now. Um, last time we did... What did we do last time? It was quite a long rally, wasn't it, I think? Or was it? Or was it a shorter one? Don't know. Can't honestly remember, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know what we did. Uh, it's been a minute. I've had a bit of a busy week, so I've not played too much of this. Um, I haven't played a little bit more than normal, though. Uh, we've got a few new things. I can't remember what I've shown, but I won this... Uh, is Peugeot 205 by completing all five disciplines of one one rally. Um, got ourselves a new truck, won this in a sponsor challenge, uh, and we got this car as well. I can't remember if we had that last time or not, but um, yeah, got a few little things in our garage. We got um, in the warehouse, we got our, our old truck that we used before, and we also won this uh, this C1 as well, which is C1, not C1, a 2CV, sorry, uh, that we won. Um, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. You can't actually see those in the picture annoyingly. But uh, yeah, so we've got a few vehicles on the go right now. And uh, the first thing we're going to do today is get ourselves another one. If you watched last episode, I said we were going to buy a KTM, Red Bull KTM. So that is what we are going to do. We're going to say goodbye to the CRF 450. Uh, if you decide to buy a vehicle, it will be stored in the warehouse. That is fine for now. Yeah, say goodbye to the Honda 450 and we are going to buy the most expensive bike in the game, at least that I can see anyway, uh, which is, it was Toby Price one, wasn't it? Five, two, six, two. Yeah. So this one's nines all across the board, apart from durability, which is a seven. Um, the only difference between these really is the team score. Again, I still don't really know if it makes any difference, um, but they're all the same team, I would like effectively. So I, I don't really know, I don't really know. But uh, yeah, we're gonna drop a Toby Price one for now. At some point, I was thinking about buying a gas gas and being Sam Sunderland because he's obviously from the UK. Uh, and that is a pretty cool bike and it is a little bit cheaper, but we've already had obviously a, a red a red bike. So yeah, as I said, we're going to buy the Red Bull KTM. So without further ado, let's spend all our money. I say all our money. I've been grinding a bit. So that was about half of our money. Still got five grand up there in the top right hand corner. Uh, what we'll do is... What we'll do is, what we'll do is, we'll get rid of this thing because I'm not really driving it. So we'll move that to the warehouse. Oh, to be fair, it don't make a difference, does it? Let's move the Honda to the warehouse. We're like we're running two bikes at a time, are we? So let's uh, move from warehouse and we'll pick our 2022 Red Bull KTM. That's going to be all the way down that end now, which is going to annoy me every time I load the game up. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to jump on this bad boy. Uh, let's have a quick look at it, I suppose. Uh, vehicle service. Looks pretty nice, what you'd expect. Red Bull sponsorship all over a nice orange and blue KTM. Pretty much uh, their colour scheme for for a very long time now. But uh, looks cool, man. Looks cool. I don't know if I've shown this before, but you can go into inspect and you can uh, rev the engine a little bit. On the cars, you can open the doors. You can, you know, get in it. Obviously here you can uh, get on it and look at this view, but that's about it. Uh, and you can turn the lights on, or the light, as it were. But uh, yeah, it's cool. Stop messing around. Let's actually get into a race, shall we? As uh, so we jump into a new race. Now, we're going to do sport again today. I think maybe next episode I might do a professional race just to mix it up a bit. But for today, we're going to jump into sport again. Uh, you can see there, that's how I acquired that Project 205. I was first in all, all five disciplines. Uh, same with one of these ones. Uh, this one here. That's how I got that 2CV. So that's how you get the, the um, special vehicles, effectively. Uh, at some point, I want to do this one to get this crazy looking bike, the PM42 Catalina. No idea. I mean, that might be quite slow. It's obviously a, a classic looking motorcycle. So we'll see. Um, today, though, I was thinking of doing the Train Odyssey Rally. So these are all the like newer rallies, uh, the ones about obviously the, the years on them. These are obviously 2021, 2020. These I assume are either 2022 ones or just kind of made up ones. I don't, I don't really know. Um, We'll do this one today, I think. It might be quite short, so we might do more. I don't know, there's only three stages. Uh, and it's in the snow, which is interesting. We haven't done a snow one really, have we, properly? So yeah, we'll do this one today, I think. So let's jump straight into it, shall we? We're going to Awadi, a oh God, Ainuna, a Ainuna, a a Wadi Ainuna is what I'm gonna say, uh, whether that's correct. We'll never know, will we? We'll never know, because you can't talk to me and I can't talk to you. So <laughs> let's go. It is very snowy, all right, cool. Uh, this should obviously be all 100%, which it is. Uh, tune in. I messed about with tire pressures a bit last time, didn't I? I might drop this down to like 26, sort of in the middle, 25, 26. 
suspension. Let's bang that in the middle as well. Before would it? Yeah, cool. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. I don't really know if it makes much difference. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. Uh, and yeah, we'll jump straight into a race, shall we? Let's start the stage. We're um. Yeah, we're we're. I mean, I'm not. I haven't flown through crew mode. I've done quite a bit in the cars and stuff off off recording. Uh, off sim saving the bikes till this. So. I don't know if we're going to get any more new stages at any point, or if we need to do all the ones that are currently on the map. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but we'll find out. But this looks pretty cool, man. Not gonna lie. Cheeky bit of snow in the desert. It's nice they put this in there. Obviously, I can't imagine it snows very much uh, in this area of the world, unless it does, and I'm completely wrong. Let me know if I am completely wrong. Obviously, um, but yeah, I can't imagine it's too snowy <laughs> in the desert. So it's cool that there is some uh, different weather in here, which is good. Very good indeed. Right, we'll have a little look at the cutscene just so we can see the uh, Red Bull KTM in all his glory. We're obviously now Toby Price. We're obviously a different person, technically, a different rider. There we are there, number 18. Going off in third place, was that, I think? Let's see how bad I am off the start then. Because, as I said, I've been doing a lot of car and uh, lorries and stuff. And uh, not a lot of bikes. So, we're still getting done. I did, there's definitely some sort of... AI advantage off the uh, off the start because we're on supposedly the best bike in the game and uh, we've gone from third to fifth just off the start. So I don't know. I don't know. Oh, this was heavy. This was heavy and and a bit funky after driving all the cars. Yeah, like now we're in sixth. What? Like why are we so slow? Now we're in seventh. Is that like the, the tune in, the tire pressures and stuff? I don't know. Surely not. Getting absolutely ruined. He's going to crash over there, but it looks a bit they're a bit all over the place, AI today. It's a pretty easy start to a stage, just uh, dead straight, plowing through the snow and the uh, sand. Oh, we're going to the left, though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know. Is there anybody, if anyone's playing along, obviously. Uh, oh, where are we going? Oh, probably not this way, but we're going to go this way. We'll take a little... Oh, I mean, it says we're going the wrong way, but I'd say this is probably a better uh, route. To be honest, yeah, we've <laughs> bumped ourselves. Oh, I was gonna say we bumped ourselves in the first place. Someone's bumped us into the floor instead. Nice. We did get through the waypoint now. So yeah, we'll start from here. We're gonna be right down to P. Well, dead last again, pretty much. Cheers, guys. That was uh, that was nice of you. Thank you very much for that. I suppose they could argue I was taking the wrong route, but uh, there is no wrong or right route technically, as long as you get the waypoints. That would have made up a lot of time had we uh, not got knocked off our bike. But never mind, never mind. It's all good, we live and learn. But yeah, as I was trying to say, let me know if anyone else play along. Have you messed about with the, the tuning of the bikes? There's only literally the tire brushes and the suspension to play with. So does it make much difference? Obviously I'm kinda of middle of the road for everything, but we just seem to get completely destroyed off the start. Like we should obviously win this stage. As long as I don't crash again. We should catch them up. I mean they're that was a quad, not a not a bike. I was about to say we're overtaking some people already, but yeah, we should catch them up again. It's just, yeah, weird. Off the start, we, um... Considering we're on a bike that's got nine all-rounds, nine acceleration, nine top speed, you'd, uh, you'd think we'd be flying through. But, um... Definitely seems to be bogging down a bit in this snow. Maybe I should have looked at the tyre pressure description a bit better, and not just gone middle of the road. Never mind. Anyway, we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. We've got three stages to, uh... to win. We obviously need to win the rally overall. Well, don't have to, but... As long as you get podium overall, then you are technically past the rally. But it'd be nice to win them all, obviously. Yeah, KTM, mate, KTM. I, I don't know what I was really expecting. It's kind of obviously exactly the same as the Honda. Feels the same. There's not really any uh, any major difference. Where are we going? Not up here. Ah, oh, mate, all over the place today. Can tell I've not been playing the bikes very much. Where's the waypoint? Where's the waypoint? Down here. Ah, oh, making a right mess of this, ain't I? Not paying attention to me uh, to me road signs at the top. Looks like a few others messed up, actually. We're in fourth place now. Where are we going? Off to the left. I really, really need to start paying attention because if I do do, as I said, I will I will do a um, professional mode episode at some point. I was thinking maybe we'll do it in the cars or a lorry. Uh, just because you get your... Um, you get your co-driver, and obviously they're talking to you, which helps you... You obviously still need to read the road book. Uh, we, like, to be fair, in real life, you don't. You just listen to your co-driver. But in the game, I imagine, we can obviously still read the road book. Um, 
And yeah, there'll be someone talking to us, so it might be a little bit easier. So maybe, let me know in the comments, but I might do an episode of professional uh, car, car racing first. We will have a go on the bikes at some point, but it is hard. <laughs> it's, it's really hard. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Nice, took a little shortcut there. Caught up some more people. Alright lad, alright lad, he's pushing us off the track. Trying to kill us. Oh, got a bit of road, but we're going to uh, not use it. We're going to go straight back through the, uh, the wind turbines. Looking good, mate, looking good. Said it, said it before, I said it again, it's a beautiful game. Beautiful game. No updates as of yet. Uh, this is, what are we now, like a week or maybe even two weeks after release, possibly, by the time you see this. So, don't know if we're getting any updates or what's going to happen, but I mean, there's nothing really broken, so, not in my opinion, anyway. There's obviously people, stuff people would like changed, like the, the physics of the bikes and stuff, but in terms of the actual game, it's not really broken. Not on PS5, anyway. Get that little judder every time we go for a waypoint, which, I mean, it's a little annoying. It's a little unpolished, but apart from that, there's nothing, nothing majorly wrong with the game. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Going the wrong way again. Ah, oh, we knocked ourselves out of the tree. It's going to bump us back down the order again. Bike's going to start falling apart as well, now. Where are we? All right, not too far away. Back down to P5, though. Didn't, uh, didn't look how long this stage was, actually. What have we done so far? About 60k. Oh. Didn't want to change gear then. Does that mean the, uh, is the gearbox falling apart? Oh, I knew that was going to happen. All right, cool. This is going as well as I expected it to go. As I said, not rode the bikes for a minute or two. Riding the car, driving the cars, that makes you lazy on this game because you've got that dude talking to you. All right, where, where are we going then? Because it's saying go down here. All right, I'm just not paying attention again. Where are we now? P5 still. Come on, let's get a move on. They're not that far ahead of us on the left-hand side uh, kind of waypoint marker thing there. So we can probably catch them up. Whoa, popping wheelies. Yes, it's nice though, as I said. Snow's cool. Snow is a very cool uh, cool thing. I don't know, stuff, stuff just looks cool when it's got snow on it. I don't know <laughs> I don't know why. In real life as well, not just in games. Right, we're going to take a hard right here by the looks of it. It's like a few of them have messed it. Oh, no, I haven't done that for a while. That drifting thing. Looks like a few of them messed up though. Uh, I don't know if anyone saw the test area video that I did, but um, I did briefly, briefly mention about me changing the, the controller sensitivity, uh, which seems to help with the, the bike leaning left and right. You can kind of save some of those drifts a bit easier if you uh, whack the sensitivity right up of the, um, the steering. Uh, so I think as long as this is still the same, I'll check it before uh, the next race. It should be on 100% sensitivity. And there was one other setting as well. But yeah, go check out the test area video I did if you want to see the settings. But um, it helps a little bit. Obviously, we still drifted then. Got stuck on a little right-hand uh, right hand drift. Couldn't get out of it. But um, it's definitely better than it was when I first booted up the game. So, where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, sending it. Sending it over that June. Right, we're up with P2 and P1. So, coming up towards the end. We've only got a couple of waypoints left to go. See if we can get these boys. We started third, so we're about. Oh, now now we're second. I'll tell you what, we're going to win this. Come on, don't make a mistake. Get, don't get caught up in uh, anybody else's crash. Definitely don't get caught up with that car up front. Up in a P1. All right, we should just be following this trail. Following this trail, I would hope. Towards the end, now should just be up here. Looks like it could be. Oh, we've got a massive gap. What do those guys do on the bikes? Saw it, lads. First place. All right, we'll take that. Definitely. That was, to be fair, that was a little tougher than uh, than it has been. We were a little bit further behind. We, uh... I mean, technically, we finished, like, 30 seconds ahead, but... 20, uh, 20 seconds ahead. But we'll take it. We'll take it. Red Bull KTM Factory Racing. We should be at the front, obviously. Uh, there we go. Nice little podium. I'll have a quick look at that. Who else was up here? Gas Gas, Sam Sunderland. See, there we go. That's what the other one I was thinking of getting at some point. He was rocking some Fox gear as well, wasn't he then? What were you rocking? Kenny. Kenny gear, yeah. Nice, very enjoyable, very enjoyable of us. Anyway, all right, there we go. Get some more Dakar points, get some more uh, XP. So up to level 18, um, you gotta get to level 25 before you can do the full simulator, 
for simulation mode, uh, which again, I will do a video on at some point. It's not going to be the one we do all the time, because I imagine that is going to be intense. Uh, cool. We, I can't even, our bike is that broken, we can't even start a stage. It looks all right. What's actually wrong with it then? Mechanics in general. Body's a bit knackered. Oh, the radiators are dead completely, nearly 18%. Battery, clutch, exhaust. I'm surprised we made that to the end, to be honest, without any issues. It felt fine, really. We'll uh, repair all that, 35 quid. Cool, um, I'll, I'll quickly show you, so in the options, if you didn't see that video, if you go to control, controls, uh, and then go to controller configuration, and then go to these two here, steering sensitivity and steering at linearity. These are all set to zero, so down the other end. Uh, I won't do it because it takes forever. But yeah, bang them up to 100 and 1.00. Um, me personally, using the PS5 controller, feels better. So, worth a try if you're struggling with the um, the steering and stuff. It's not, it doesn't make, you know, it's not night and day. It's not going to completely change the, the physics of the game. But for me, definitely felt like it uh, makes the steering a bit better. So, anyway, right. Stage two, let's go. Tabuk, see what this one's all about. Is this snowing again? It was snowing, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't look at me. Uh, Tire pressures and stuff. Never mind. I don't, I don't think it makes much difference. I think it's uh, just kind of a generic set, and I don't, I don't think it makes too much difference to the game. But uh, anyway, right. Heading off first. We're probably going to get absolutely rinsed off the start line, as per usual. Let's see what we can do, though. Oh, 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 oh. A little, little bit of frame rate uh, going on there. Got a nice clear path to start, at least. Going right to the right, I assume. Oh, right, right to the right. All right. Down here. They all... <laughs> I think they all messed up as well. But they all went slow anyway. You've got like a reservoir over there or something. Yeah, see, look at the speed, mate. We're going to have them in the corners because they bottled it a bit. But... That's pretty grippy. So this is pretty grippy, this road, actually. That was normally leaning... I was like leaning full left then to get around that bend. Ah, where are we going? Oh, we're going to go a little bit off-road. We're going to go up this hill. A little bit of off-piste in, as they say in uh, skiing. Ah, oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Pay attention, pay attention. They're not going to have us again now. That was that's annoying. We had a nice little comfortable lead. Oh, no, we're still all right. We're still all right. Must be bright this, uh, be bright this level. I, uh, I did turn up the brightness a little bit because all the, the night races were like pitch black. Like, even for me, on um, actually playing the game, it was dark, let alone what it looks like on YouTube. So, I, I have up the brightness a little bit, so I might find these snow levels are a little bit, uh, a little bit much. Looks alright for the, that first one, looks fine. I think it was just that little bit then. So, we'll stick with it for now. As I said, when you upload it to YouTube, all the compression and all that sort of stuff, it uh, always darkens it down a little bit anyway. So We are flying, man. This is uh, another cool stage. I like these ones. What was this one called? The train, something about a train rally. Pretty cool, uh, pretty cool stages so far. Oh, watch out for the rocks. Oh, my days. We got away with that. Just if I... <laughs> That was tough, mate. That was tough. Right, we're going over to the right now. Watch out for these cars. Oh, no. Watch out for those rocks. Yeah. Yeah. I was never, never going to stop that, was I? Let's be honest. Dude. Not good. Not good. We are still P1. Just about. Can't see anybody behind us yet. No, the Mars burned. All right. It is weird. We're, yeah, the AI could do a little bit of tweaking, I think. They're a little bit too... Sometimes they're too fast. Sometimes they're too slow. This one, we're, we're quite far ahead. We've made a few mistakes. We obviously just did that massive crash. Was that for this? No, because we didn't go through this waypoint. So, uh, should have gone to the right, probably there. Sneak off down here, though. It's all good. Is KTM louder than the Honda? Or just me not playing the bike so much lately? A oh, cheeky little bit of. Uh, mountain, uh, mountain's going on. We're going to take the right-hand lane and then have to whip back over here and not get crashed into by some trucks. Uh, no, it is that way. All right. Car's confusing me, turning right into our path. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the series so far. We're going to keep this going for a little bit, obviously. Uh, it's been a little bit less MX versus ATV, obviously, because uh, of all the, the Dakar videos I've been doing. But... Um, 
I will finish that series off, or not finish it off, but you know, finish career mode, and uh, I will continue playing that. Still hanging out for the update, which maybe by the time you see this, maybe the update is out for MX vs ATV. But I'm recording this on the Friday, on the uh, Friday the 14th of October, and uh, we haven't got patch day still. It's been like four weeks since they've uh, since they said it was going to be out, and it still hasn't come out. So kind of just want to finish our career mode in MX vs ATV with some new gear and, and stuff, but. Maybe I'll just finish it and uh, wait and see what other content they bring out because they're certainly uh, taking their time about it. But mate, that that wasn't there. That just appeared out of nowhere. That wasn't there. I didn't hit that rock. That that didn't exist. What's it talking about? I'm not getting mad, am I? There was definitely not a rock in front of us. I know we went we went over a crest, but I'd have seen that surely. Anyway. Oh, we were down to. Oh no, maybe there was. Maybe yeah, maybe there was. All right, maybe there was. I'm sure they didn't load in there, maybe they didn't load in quick enough. Uh, where are we going, where are we going, where are we going? Down to P2 now actually, so we got overtaken then. Yeah, there he is, up just in front of us, or her, she or, she or him, he or her. Skyler, I don't know, could be either. Typically I would call them, put that as a, 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 a girl's name, but uh, I'm assuming there are some dudes called Skyler as well. Is that, have many women done the Dakar? I'm sure they have. Like, it's me being naive. I'm not, you know, yeah, as I said, I'm not a super fan of the Dakar, but uh, I'm sure someone like, must have, surely. Must have. Oh, this bike's not sounding brilliant. We've got uh, warning lights, engine lights down below. Oh, mate, we're actually going to have to pull over and fix this thing, I think. Stop a minute, real quick. Uh, repair all. Go. Oh, oh, was that 47 minutes? No, 51 seconds. Yeah, seconds, seconds, seconds. I was going to say, bloody hell. Can't be hanging around for that long. Yeah, um, it's weird, the, the repairs and stuff. You're, it obviously fixes the bike itself and like the mechanics and stuff. But yeah, if you break any... I mean, I guess it makes sense if you break any bodywork off or smash your headlights. It doesn't fix those, which I get. I, that makes sense. You, you haven't got spare... Uh, Spare bodywork with you, have you, in your uh, on your rally? So makes sense, makes sense. We're not in the trucks with all our extra wheels and stuff. I wonder what the guys actually carry with them. Because I've noticed we haven't actually got any like we haven't got like a backpack on or anything, have we? Oh, I've messed up the camera. Do they wear backpacks, or is it just all in their pockets? And then I don't know. Is there? I really need to do some research into the uh, how it works. Really. Oh, mate, we're stuck on a rock. Come on, we could definitely ride over that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Messing this right up. Uh, right to the right, yeah, cool. Um, yeah, I keep getting distracted while I'm starting stories and then not finishing them. Uh, I don't even know what I was talking about. But um, yeah, I'm enjoying the game. It's a good game. Definitely a good game. Still no word on any like MX versus eight, uh, MXGP game or anything. I haven't seen any news from Milestone, anything like that. So I don't know. We're getting towards the end of the year. Still not seeing anything, which is a bit weird. But uh, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. We uh, by the time we're seeing this, the World of Supercross event has all been done with. In fact, well, well, while I'm recording it, it's all been done with. Uh, so yeah, if you haven't seen the result, obviously mute me now, or whatever, if you don't want to know who won, and you're still still going to watch it, but uh, it's not really a surprise, was it? Eli, Eli absolutely smashing everybody in, in Cardiff. Um, I, I genuinely thought Kenny, Kenny Roxon was going to give him a good run for his money, because he was quick in the heats and like the qualifying, I think he qualified top, didn't he? It was a cool, I liked the, um, the kind of layout of the day, I didn't go, I wasn't there live, I just watched the, the highlights on TV, but the, the layout of... The proceedings, like you know, the, the one lap qualifier where they go out on their own to qualify and do a lap was pretty cool. I like that, that was pretty cool. That one shot qualifying, and all the heats and stuff, and the, the back to back races they did all 250 races, all three of them back to back, and then did all three 450 mains back to back as well. Which I thought I kind of like that adds another element to the, the guys not getting too much rest. Obviously, the, the actual events themselves were quite a lot shorter than normal supercross, but um. Yeah, it's cool, it's cool, it's a good event, but yeah, Eli smashed everybody. Surprise, surprise. There we go, did we smash everybody? We didn't, we got a P2. Damn. It's alright, it's podium. We should still be able to take the overall, I think. We, uh, oh, look at that, I was talking about a update for the game. Look, look, there is one, and the, it's currently downloading. I'll, uh, 
I'll have to download that and install that before we uh, record the next episode. But yeah. Anyway, right, P2. Overall, we are absolutely miles ahead. We're eight minutes ahead, pretty much. Uh, yeah, we are, pretty much. Uh, so that's crazy. Let's go into the uh, the third and final rally stage, I guess. Let's see how we get on with this one. But yeah, it was a cool, um, just to finish off on World Supercross, it was cool. It was a cool event. Um, as I said, I only watched highlights, but uh, I liked it, I liked it. Let's see what it's like in Australia. I think that's, what, this week? This weekend? Or was it the weekend after? I don't know. We also got Red Bull Straight Rhythm coming as well. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know if. Um, I'm not sure if Kenny's going to Australia actually saying that. I'll have a look into it. So, uh, let me know if I'm wrong in the comments down below. Because, uh, yeah, he's probably doing straight rhythm. Unless it's not this weekend. Is it the weekend after? Who knows? Who knows? We'll soon find out. But yeah, it's cool. Anyway, right. Stage three of Dakar Rally, Train Odyssey Rally. We're going to Shigri. Pretty sure we've done this one before in a different rally. But. Uh, Assuming it's going to be a little bit different. Let's just try this one out. Cool. Shigri, stage three. Can be going off second place. Obviously, because we finished second in the last one. We're, uh, we're flying through these, actually. So maybe we'll do something else as well in this episode. Keep them, keep it fairly long. Here we go then. Right, fire third and final stage. Let's see what we can do. We need to uh, probably win this one. We are, uh, we are like five, six. What did I say? Five, six minutes ahead. Six minutes overall so uh, we should be alright oh my days these boys are getting some serious air off there we're uh, going right to the left this time oh that was a that was a big old big old uh, judd at that time hopefully that update that is uh, pending will we'll fix that because that is literally I, I'm not being you know not hoping up too much but that's pr probably the only real issue I've, I've had is the little judders around him through the waypoints like without obviously going into the physics of the bikes and stuff again yeah it's not it's not perfect maybe it's not what you know some bikers expected but you, realistically this is a car game like well that is getting quite bad on this stage actually those uh those judders yeah i mean realistically this is a car rally game like the, the company that makes it also was well, like a sister company that makes snow runner the lorry truck car game so you know they've done they've done Apparently, I didn't play Dakar 18, but apparently it's a lot better than Dakar 18. It's still not perfect, obviously, but for me, it does the job. It's not it's not horrendous. Like, the physics are fine. There's nothing wrong with it. So, yeah, hopefully that update fixes some of those uh, little judders. Hopefully, I know some people on the, you know, older gen, gen consoles and, and PC have had some more issues, but PS5, it's been alright, mate. It's been alright. I know one of you commented as well, saying it was fine on the Xbox Series X. So, definitely, well, definitely seems to be a last-gen PC the people that have any issues the most anyway i will admit this stage is very yeah frame ratey laggy juddery through the waypoints it's quite a lot on this stage a lot of buildings and stuff a lot of mountains obviously the snow's blaring down as well crossing over a road so it's probably why but yeah like they're getting quite bad actually but only on this stage it's been fine for most of this episode oh mate they're really bad on this stage <laughs> what's going on <laughs> I was just singing your praises game and now you're you're letting me down. Oh my god, it really is letting me down. Why has that got so bad? Anyway, let's get let's push past it. Let's push past it. Let's ignore it. Let's uh, just enjoy our snowy desert ride. We're up into P1 again. We're uh, we're miles ahead in P1 actually. They must have uh, oh had a bit of a crash. Cause yeah, we are. We are way further ahead than the normal. They're not even on the... Are they on that left-hand side? Yeah, right at the very bottom. Weird. Perhaps the lag's affecting them. <laughs> yeah, I'm obviously talking about a lot of motocross stuff in this, which obviously I know not some of you probably might not be necessarily be motocross fans. Uh, but I don't know much more about the Dakar, and obviously that's all been and gone this year, so... Not a lot to talk about Dakar wise, and I don't know much about it, so yeah, the motocross is kind of the only thing I can talk about. But um, straight with them, that's cool, man. It's going to be on a, I can't remember the exact location in, in um, obviously in California, uh, but yeah, on a beach front by the looks of it. Um, haven't seen too much of the track. It looks like Kenny, Kenny is going to be riding a, a Yamaha YZ 250 uh, two stroke. I don't know if it's an old one or a, a new one, I assume it's probably a new one. I'm sure it'll look old, like the, the graphics and stuff. That's kind of what they tend to go for. It's what they did. They did like a 90s two... The first time they did the two strokes, it was all 90s based, wasn't it? And he rode that um, that sick CR250. The McGrath 250, I think it was. That 2007 one. 
that's cool. That was cool. And he went like all old school with the gear and the graphics and stuff. So I think he's doing something similar like that. Um, I haven't really looked who else is doing it, but I just haven't looked at the entry list. So yeah, I mean that again. That would have already happened by the time you see this episode, probably. So uh, hopefully, it's, hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's good. I do like straight with them. It's a good laugh. It's fun. It's just a cool thing to to watch. I like it. Something a bit different. Ooh, we were risky then. I didn't know what was over that uh, that crest. Got away with this bit as well. I went the wrong way again. But oh, hang on. Oh, rocks, rocks, rocks. Me. <laughs> Did you see us fly over the front then? Blimey. me. That was uh, that would have hurt. That would have definitely hurt in real life. You really have got to pay attention. I'm just sat here waffling on. It is it is hard. You really do have to pay attention to where you're going. You think you don't realise how fast you're going? You kind of get lulled into a sort of false sense of the speed you're going, and then when you suddenly come across a load of rocks and you slam the brakes on, you uh yeah, you don't stop. Now there's the update ready to install. Well, uh, it might do it while we're playing actually. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. We'll uh, we'll find out. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. We'll either do some more on this one, or I'll just record another episode straight away after this and uh, get it pushed out a little bit sooner rather than later. Like, we'll get this one out sooner. And then uh, I'll probably do some more MX vs ATV next week at some point, as I said already. We'll uh, we'll just finish it off whether the update comes or not. But um, it'd be nice if it did. We will wait and see. Ooh. But yeah, I want to try and complete the rallies in an episode. Uh, so obviously some of them are going to be really long, because, ah, oh, dude, 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 where was I going then? The waypoint's down here on the road, mate. Yeah, I want to, so obviously some of them are going to be shorter. This is literally a three-stage rally, so, which is why I was thinking about maybe doing two in this episode, but we're already up to half an hour, so maybe we'll just call this a short one, and then we'll do a longer one next time maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I'll have a look in a minute. I'll see what other rallies are about. If there's another short one then maybe we'll just chuck it in this episode. Blizzard is uh, coming in. Getting a little bit uh, a little bit darker. I don't think our lights are working to be honest. No, they are. <laughs> no, none of the buttons are working for the lights. They're completely knackered. Don't think it'd make much difference in this snow anyway. But it uh, looks like we're coming up to the end anyway. So... That should be a win. We didn't really get any time penalties or any repairs, so yeah, nice easy first place. So that should be first overall. Annoyingly, we didn't win all three stages, so I'm not going to get that trophy. Yeah, that took him 17 minutes second place. Why did that take so long? Weird. Must be a bug with them in that on that stage. But yeah, another podium. It's going to give us the podium overall. It should get us up to level 19. It does. Nice little bit of money as well. Nearly 400 uh, Dakar points, which is good. There we go, overall, we only had a 51 second repair. We didn't get any time penalties at all. These boys had loads of time penalties. Two minutes, 15 minutes, 39, 10, loads of penalties. Yeah, we did it in 23 minutes, took them 39, really? Fair enough, that's gonna be a uh, top step of the podium for us. We should, hopefully, get a, uh, a sponsor, a spinny, spinny wheel job as well. So, we'll have a look at that in a minute, see if we can, uh, maybe we'll do that actually. We'll see what the uh, challenge is, and we'll um, maybe do that. Looks like Daniel Sanders was in P3 on the Gas Gas. We had uh, Husqvarna, Skylar Howes. There's a dude. Fair enough. And then us, mate. Toby Price on the uh, Red Bull KTM Factory Racing. Happy days. We are going to get a little spin. All right. Spin to win. Let's see what we get on this one. Hopefully not a bike because we just bought a bike. Oh, truck or... That is a car. MD. I was going to buy one of those because they've got... I think I can't quite remember now. Am I going to pick this and regret it? I think they're they're technically they've got the fastest top speed and fastest acceleration in the game. The handling is not as good and the uh, durability is not as good compared to some of the like the Toyota Hilux and stuff. But uh, I'm pretty sure it was that one. MD MD Rally Sport or was it something else? Questioning myself now. Ah, uh, what should we go for? I didn't really see what else was in the uh, the wheel. We literally just got a new truck, so. Nah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Yeah, we'll go for it. Is it the one I think it is? Let's have a quick look. Let's have a quick look. Not that one, is it? No, we didn't already have it, so that's good. That's a good start. Uh, let's just have a quick look at it. Can we, can we just view it? What's happening? 
Have I got to move out, have I? From the... Oh, for God's sake. Let's just go to the catalogue uh, and go to cars, and then we'll go to MD2021 on it. It's not that one. Uh, was it 20... Does it not exist in the... Oh, there it is. There, acquired. Cool. Yep, definitely not the one I thought it was. All right, cool. <laughs> it's only got 7.5, 8.5, 8, and 8. That's rubbish. All right, what was the really fast one I found the other day? Or was it the same one, but it was a 2020 version, maybe? I'm sure it was this thing. No, it wasn't. All right, cool. I'm chatting absolute nonsense then. No, no idea what I was looking at. Oh, was it this thing? Yeah, the Century CR6. Speed 9.5, acceleration 9. Damn, should have spun again. All right, never mind. Never mind. That thing looks mad at the back. Never mind. At some point, we'll uh, we'll do that sponsor challenge. Let me just see what it is. I'll be back in a second. Cool. So it's this bad boy, Optimus Evo 3 MD, uh, and the challenge is to do the the rally we just did. So three stages of Train Odyssey rally in a car. So I won't do that again because obviously we've just done all three three of those stages. I will do it at some point, obviously, and get that car. But uh, doesn't really nothing really is competing with our Hilux in terms of stats anyway. So that thing is battered. But uh, so what we'll do instead then. How long has this been so far? About half an hour. Screw it. Let's do another one, shall we? Let's do another one. What? Uh, I was going to look at this one, actually. The Extreme Rally. Because this is only two stages. Two 11 kilometers. Probably going to be snow. It is snow. Look at that. What guess? Yes, yeah, so that one's 98 kilometers. And that one's 112 kilometers. So they're quite long, but there's only two of them. So... Screw it. Let's make it a long episode. Make it a long one. All right, let's jump into this then. We'll jump on our Red Bull KTM again, obviously, and we'll go to uh, the Extreme Rally, which I wonder how tough this is going to be. Uh, we're going to Hal Halat Amar. Let's see what this one's all about. It looks like snow and ice again, so this could be the snow and ice episode. Uh, let's fix this bad boy up, because we're definitely going to need it at top uh, top capacity. Let's uh, time of departure at 10 past 10 at night in a blizzard. Sounds like a great idea, lads. Why would we be doing this? Oh, God, this is going to be hard, isn't it? Nighttime snow. No crashing, mate. No crashing. We're going to need our lights, definitely. Oh, my days. Can't even see anything already. We're not even riding yet. How long was this? Nearly 100 kilometers. Right. Dude, are you joking? Let's see how we do. We'll see how we do. Oh, this could be one that... We have to redo, maybe. I mean, you can't see a thing. Mate, honestly. Lights don't really do a lot. It's not too bad with some uh, other people around you, to be fair. Seriously, you have to pay attention now, right? Come up to a road. We're going to go to the right by the looks of it. Or go under a bridge, under a road, or under a train track or something. Cool. Yeah, it's gonna be a long old, uh, long old rally. This one. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can concentrate a bit. Maybe I'll not talk as much. Perhaps we'll stick with the uh, stick with the pack a little bit as well for uh, the first sort of. I mean, at the moment I've got no choice. I'm not overtaking anybody. <laughs> this is this is full, full throttle. Oh, why would you break on the down side of that hill? Nearly killed both of us, buddy. Oh, do you know what I should have done? Was installed the update first, shouldn't I? Never mind. Right. We're up with P1 already. So far, this hasn't been too extreme, but uh, I imagine it's going to get a little tougher. We're, uh, we're kind of staying on sort of main trails at the minute. I wonder if it's going to send us off send us off on any uh, sort of mad mountain passes or uh, anything like that. God, this would be crazy trying to do this in a... Uh... I mean, they don't, yeah, they don't really see snow, do they? So, I mean... This wouldn't really happen, would it? Or would it? I don't know. Am I, am I being naive? Is there snow in the Dakar? Some Dakar races? I just can't see why there would be in Saudi Arabia, obviously. But yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, obviously. Let me know. Don't be afraid to uh, tell me I'm chatting rubbish. Ugh. I really don't like battling with the, the cars and the SXSs, which I one of you guys pointed out is uh, called a side-by-side. -side. Uh, it's just, it is a lightweight vehicle, which is what I thought it was, but... Um, yeah, side by sides, that's what SXS means. S times X. S by S. What? <laughs> you know you know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, let me know. Um obviously as I keep saying, we're, we're obviously concentrating on motorbikes in career mode. But let me know if you wanna if you want to see anything else, let me know. As I said, I'll, I probably will do a car professional episode just to uh where are we going? 
Oh, lag, lag, lag. Oh, yeah, we don't want to be cutting across that road at that angle. That would be slippery as you like. Yeah, we'll do a car professional one to begin with, just to uh, have a go at professional stuff. But yeah, let me know if you want to see anything else again. Obviously, I did all the first videos of a uh, little bits of gameplay of all the uh, categories, but um, if you want to see anything in particular, particularly in career mode, obviously, all these other ones are not technically career mode, but uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know. All right. Annoyingly, that lag is getting worse again on this level. I feel like it's the big levels with a lot of weather and lots of stuff to load in is when that becomes worse, which makes sense, obviously, as you'd expect. We are... Oh, my God. <laughs> that was a huge send. Oh, and again. You can't really see a lot, I'm not going to lie. I'm not entirely sure what we're coming up to. And all of a sudden, you just see a ledge or a dune and you, uh, you go flying off of it, which is fun. Oh, like that. Oh, we're going to crash one of these in a minute. I can, I can tell. But that waypoint was quite hidden, even for uh, sport mode. It's kind of in the snow. No idea what DNT stands for. Do not... Something? No, probably not. Like, this would be so difficult. Oh, God. In professional mode, wouldn't it? Let alone full simulation mode. I've got the, the luxury of being able to see some yellow markers in front of me, but uh, trying to do this, just navigating. There's not exactly any features to look out for either, it's just desert with snow on top of it. I guess that's why they call it extreme. This would be pretty extreme. Uh, we're going straight on still, looks like we're going to be crossing over a track, possibly, or a road again. And we're going up the road, are we? Alright, cool. That definitely didn't say turn left. Definitely showed us crossing over that track, but never mind. I was going to say maybe we'll jump in first person, but maybe we won't. <laughs> this is difficult enough. Oh, especially when you go the wrong way. Can we, uh, can we get around here and go back up and just cause chaos by going the wrong way? Alright, cool. Into some mountains, as I said. I wondered if we'd be getting into some sort of narrow might impasse sort of uh, area. Kind of hoping there's a bit more of that sort of stuff, you know, a bit more technical sort of trails, might impasses, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it'd be nice if there are a few stages that are a bit more, a bit more sort of technical. Not, um, not because a lot of this is fairly flat out, and unless you, you know, you really aren't paying attention, it's quite hard to, to mess it up. Obviously, over these crests and stuff, if you don't know where you're going, if you don't look where you're going, you can obviously hit a load of rocks, but. Um, for the most part, you are pretty much sick of gear, full throttle, getting on the, the verge of 200 kilometers an hour. So, yeah, it'd be nice to see a little more technical rally stages. I mean, the rallies are obviously a bit more open. Oh, that was a long, long pause. That is the game, that FYI, that's not, not my like editing or the recording itself. That is the game lagging like that. So uh, if anyone's you know interested, that is that does happen. Seems to be happening a lot more today for some reason. I'm guessing because we're into these bigger stages. Oh yeah, mate, this is getting really bad actually. Come on. Oh, over to the right. It doesn't. It, like, so, so you don't move. So you, you don't like. It's not like it carries going straight on and you're going to crash because you can't see. Like the, the bike just. The, you just stop like in that place and then you carry on. So in that sense, it's not like it causes you to to crash and stuff and. But it is getting a little bit, a little bit bad. Definitely seems to be worse when you're tearing through at a faster speed. Uh, right to the right we go. Oh no, we're going over some, uh, yeah, I mean, come on. Uh, this is getting a little, little bit unplayable now, I'm not going to lie. I've been saying it's all brilliant and uh, we're getting into getting into a few issues now to be honest that's like that's getting a bit annoying though not gonna lie <laughs> I won't hate on it too much because obviously that update has just been pushed so I will install that update and next episode we'll see if uh, we get the same problems but um yeah that's getting quite bad in this game so anyway I won't keep going about it coming up to the end actually that didn't seem that long at all 
we're, we're flying through uh, 100 kilometers of a rally stage. Just got a few more uh, waypoints to go. We should be quite close together, I think. If we, uh, oh, where's that going to send me? Taking the outside line. Yeah, we're up to 94 kilometers, so these ones should be fairly close together, or they would have been if I'd gone the right way. Drifting in the snow, mate. Oh, this weather is madness. You're terrifying riding in this. The goggles would just be a complete mess. You won't be able to see anything. You'd have, you'd have to stop. I don't know how you'd even ride in that. That'd be insane. There we go. Through the snow we come. That only took seven minutes. 41 seconds. That was pretty quick, actually. Not, not too bad at all. Still might not even be an hour-long episode, which is fine. That's fine. There we go. Smashed the competition. We were literally double the speed of them. They were 19 minutes. We did it at seven. Even more than double. Crazy. Or half the... Almost double. Half the time it took us. At least over half the time it took us. Anyway. Cool. Won't look at the podium because it's just going to be covered in snow. Happy days. Some more money. Some more XP. Let's jump into the second stage. Ah, no snow on this one. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We uh, we didn't really break anything, so we'll just repair that one up. Did we crash? I think we crashed once, did we? Maybe? Can't remember. Jump into the next stage. This one's 112 kilometers, so a little bit longer, but not too much more. And uh, this one is mainly sand, so maybe this one isn't got any snow in it at all. We'll see, we'll see. If we can win this one, it'd be nice if we could uh, win both stages, get that get that trophy. This is the Al Sharaf. Heading off in first place, we've got a uh, husky and a hero behind us. Off we go, off we go, see what we can do this time. Oh, terrible start. I don't, is there a technique to the start? Do I have to hit the throttle at the right point? Or is it literally just the game? That's just how the starts work. All right, we're going to go slightly off piste in again. Oh, we're going to slow down now because I don't know where we're going. Uh, right to the right. Oh, no, the lag, mate. The lag is real. To be fair, I was saying all episode that the uh, the snow looks sick. You gotta admit, the desert. Oh no 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 no! Oh, we got away with that. The desert looks pretty cool as well. The desert looks pretty damn cool as well. Nah, this is not cool. Though. Come on, stop doing that. Oh, car stuck over there in the tree. Interesting. Another car up here as well. Oh no, it's a no. That might be a cave. On that mountain. Yeah, it was a cave. All right, going to the left so I thought anyway the arrows definitely went off to the right then but uh, yeah it's definitely up here big old uh, big old lead again already AI are not liking the extreme rally clearly to be fair that previous stage wasn't that extreme the weather was and as I said I think doing that in professional mode and obviously simulation mode would be That'd be extreme. That'd be hard. I assume that's what makes it difficult, is the, the fact you've got no real... Oh, my days. No markers or anything to go by, really. You're just uh, looking for waypoints in, in a blizzard that you can't see. Invisible waypoints that you can't see. <laughs> ah, mate, this is getting really, really bad. I mean, like, unplayable bad. Like, I'm feeling like this might crash out on me bad. It's got that, that feel about it, like the game's just going to die in a minute, which could be fun. I mean, yeah, like we are like completely frozen now. Yeah. Not a lot of scared. There we go. Oh, no, we're back and then we've gone again. Interesting. All right, cool. I've not seen any problems like this at all. Today seems particularly bad, which makes me wonder if it's just these stages in particular. There's a lot of water, a lot of effects going on on these stages. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so apologies. This could not. This might not be the best. Uh, the best content. See, the first rally wasn't. I mean, it started happening, but it wasn't horrendous. Whereas these two stages have been pretty, uh, pretty terrible. We we'll have to do these again on uh, another vehicle, hopefully, when it's um, not so buggy, because that's pretty horrible, you know. 
Hmm. All right. I'll um. I'll tell you what. I'll play through this and uh, I'll keep some in if it if it fixes itself. But if it just keeps doing this, then I might just cut some out because this is gonna be no fun for anybody to watch. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens in a minute. Right, I jumped out of the game because uh, that stage was just completely, completely broken. Uh, so I jumped out of the game, did the update that was going. Um, I can't find any patch notes on the update at all, so I don't know what, what is supposedly improved. Um, one thing I have now found out though is if you uh, you can just jump out halfway through a stage, like you don't even have to restart the stage. So you can see we've done twenty eight percent of that stage, and we can just jump back into where we were. I assume. I assume it's going to drop us at a waypoint or something, um, which is pretty cool. I'm assuming that's only possible in sport mode, uh, but I mean, there we go. There's a feature of the game that we've we found out about. <laughs> um, let's uh, yeah continue. So let's jump back in and we'll see if it's any better. If not, then we'll uh, we'll have to call the episode here, I guess. But um, yeah, not I not ideal that not ideal. Let's see. Still on P1. Be pretty awesome timing if that update this obviously come through as I'm playing the game and recording for you guys. If that actually does fix some of the. Uh, some of the bugs we're having, unless it was just the game, I don't know, maybe we just needed a restart, maybe it was having a, a funny five minutes, I don't know. Because I've not really had any problems at all. As I said, I've had that odd judder when you go for a, a waypoint like this. But nothing mad. Really. So, I feel like we're a bit further back than we were when I last left you guys. So, I wonder if it was just crashing completely and now it's sort of... At a moment to itself and I've restarted it, it sorted itself out maybe. I don't know. I mean, so far, we've got zero juddering, so even like the little bits we got before. So alright, cool. Let's keep going, let's keep going. If it breaks again, we'll stop and I'll uh, we'll call it there. If it doesn't, oh, stop, 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 stop. Then we'll uh, we'll obviously keep going. Get through the tight and twisty bits through the desert mountains. Yeah, I'll try and find some patch notes for the uh, next episode, but Currently, if you search Dakar Desert Rally Patch Notes, nothing's come out. I think it was version, uh, what did it say, 1.0? 1. Mm, 1. Wow. I mean, we are definitely not surviving that crash. Let's, uh, let's jump back on and carry on like nothing happened. In fact, let's just quickly repair on the move. Go, 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 go. AI are miles behind us still, so I mean, that's obviously a good, good thing. Yeah, I feel like we got to this watery bit, didn't we? And then, or is that another? No, it's another water bit. So maybe that is just a separate section. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's patch 1.3. Oh, I'm probably making that up, so don't don't quote me on that. I'll um I'll have a look before I record the next episode, see if I can find any more notes about what they've possibly fixed. In terms of bike handling and stuff, that that feels the same. It's obviously not a major update. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be uh, as you'd expect. It's going to be bug fixes for uh, the first first update at least. Oh my days, this is getting... I said I wanted some more tight technical sections. This is getting uh, pretty tight and technical now. We're going to have to slow down, mate. We're going to crash our boys. Cool. So we're in about 56k. So we've still got about half the uh, the rally to do. The stage to do, I should say. Oh, that sun is bright. All right, water. So that was what's killing it before. Completely killing it was that water section we drove through. That seems all right. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to say the updates fixed it or whether it was just me restarting the game. I don't. I don't honestly know. But uh... oh, some deep water through there. Jesus. But yeah, we're not even getting like the the, the little juddering and stuff that I was getting before. So maybe maybe the update has fixed it. That would be awesome timing if that is actually. Is actually the case. That'd be quite funny. Ah, oh, should we go around to the left there? Can we get back down there? Oh, we can't. I don't think we're gonna have to take the long way around. Waste a little bit of time. Could we? I don't know. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Here we this way. Where we go? Where we go? Where we go? In across the road, up onto this little bit over here. Look at this game, man. It is beautiful. I'll forgive it. I'll forgive it. If that was just a funny five minutes, or if that was an update already that's fixed it, then that's pretty cool. Okay. We'll let him off, we'll let him off. Ignore it, it didn't happen. Ignore the juddering. Maybe I should just restart the stage. Nah, screw it. Just keep going. Ah, oh, no. It in trees, mate. It in trees. Oh, we've broken again. Should we just repair this as well? What are we up to now? 48 seconds penalty, or not penalty, but 48 seconds repair time. Let's get over to the left, away from these trees. Let's not do the same thing again.
So we're going back down near the road again. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't say this was as extreme that's, that's, as I was saying before we started getting all these glitches. The the weather in the previous stage made it extreme, and as I said, it'd be really hard on the uh, the more difficult uh, the more difficult modes. But this one doesn't seem too bad so far. There's been a few little tighter technical bits, a bit of water and stuff, but nothing too uh, too mad. No sandstorms yet. Although, as I say that, that sand is moving around quite a lot. We'll see, we'll see. Let's take this little path down here. So we're taking the type right, was it? Yeah, up that way. <laughs> Back into the uh, mountains we go. Yeah, not sure what that middle bit's going to look like. I'll let out some of that, to be honest, because it was getting a bit bad on it. So uh, hopefully you didn't turn off when it started getting juddery and you've stuck around for the... Uh, the better quality footage, we'll, we'll wait and see. But a uh, oh, massive downhill section through there. Going around to the left again, it's getting a little bit tighter through here. We're going under some mad rock formations. Oh, we are tearing through this mine, 190 miles, uh, kilometers an hour. Walk back down into some more water. Yeah, like this is fine now, not glitching at all. Weird. Weird. I'm really intrigued now to see if that update, but yeah, like in the patch notes, if it does say anything about it, them fixing the waypoint kind of jutteriness. Perfect uh, representation there of uh, possibly if that is a, if, if that is what it did. Perfect representation of how to update a game and fix it. But uh, anyway, right. Let's keep on tearing through. It is fun going over some of these, uh, these kind of takeoffs on these bikes, these jumps and stuff. Especially when you land them. Obviously, when you crash, it's no fun. But oh, we're getting into some more twisty bits again. Do you know what? These would be quite difficult in the cars and the, especially in the lorries. Actually, if it's the same course, same stage, it'd be pretty hard actually because it is quite narrow. Bikes, you forget obviously on a bike, you know, two wheels, quite narrow, very narrow. But yeah, in a car and stuff, it might be quite difficult. Straight across the road again. I assume they like close roads like that off during the rally. They must do, because or do you have to? You know, is that something you have to look out for? If you see a road coming up on your road, but do you have to stop effectively, make sure no one's driving across it, uh, and they aren't going to knock you off? I don't know. That seems a bit dangerous, but it's a dangerous old sport, so I don't know. Oh, and he lost it then. Coming up to the end though, I think. Yeah, that looks like the end down there. Let's send it over this little uh, jump. And there we go, P1. Yes, so we did get a trophy, cool. So that's for winning both stages, obviously. Gonna take another overall win. We were 13 minutes quicker than everybody else, including our repair time and stuff. Uh, but there we go, we won't watch that again. More XP, more money. Top of the table, get another podium session. We've already done this once today, so I won't peek through this again. Do we get a spin? We do get a spin to win, so that's pretty cool. Seems like every rally you finish on a podium, you get one of these, basically. So, what are we gonna get today? More cars, more lorries. I've already got that lorry, and I've already got that exact lorry, and I've already got a, yeah, a red version of that. So, five grand is a chunky, chunky wedge of cash. I think, we've already taken a, a car, so, I don't think I'll risk spinning again. I think we'll take the five grand, mate. Beautiful, up to 11K. So that's effectively paid for our, we've effectively paid our KTM off already, which is pretty cool. There we go, I think we'll leave it there. A bit of a weird episode. Apologies for the uh, the lag and stuff. As I said, it's not me. It's the, that was the game, genuinely. It wasn't the recording, wasn't the PlayStation. So that was the game. It, whether that update fixed it or whether me just closing the game and starting again fixed it, I'm not entirely sure. As I said, I'll try and find some patch notes for uh, for next episode, see if there was any. Um, be cool if it is the update anyway, at least they've already addressed it, if that is the reason. Well, uh, I guess we'll find out if it happens next time. But yeah, I'll leave it there, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave some comments down below, give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe to the channel. We very much appreciate it. And I'll, uh, I'll see you next time for some more Dakar Desert Rally. See you then. Cheers. Bye.